Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, I will talk about the Sog Knives and Tool Max Grip Tactical Gloves. That's how they are in the store. As best as I see, Walmart is the only place that sell that gloves. Uh, Sog Knives and Tools you can get in a lot of different places, but uh, tactical gear or clothing the backpack and gloves and uh, pants, jackets, whatever they all made uh, that apparently is sold only or pretty much only by Walmart and that's where I saw them. So we see on top sock, knives and tools, then max grip tactical gloves, uh, reinforced palms, four way stretch back panel, uh, one pair of gloves they come of course in different sizes I just uh, need the X large size and on the right side we have that tactical symbol as we turn it around uh, we see on top the Sog brand and made in China then I'm gonna fold that a bit around we see the Max Grip tactical gloves uh, perfect for everyday wear the reinforced, reinforced palm and fingers are textured for extra grip uh, dries fast and retains shape uh, elastic and velcro and four way stretch back panel specification we have there too again this is X large size you get them in smaller size as well so that's how they are hanging in the store then I took one pair already apart uh, the, the fit and the finish is pretty nice done uh, usually such gloves are pretty high priced we see that is the top side uh, we have the SOG logo we have here a bigger velcro part that locks the wrist part down it's also elastic so that oops is a bit of a stretchy material here so that works really nice too i did already wear them not uh, this pair here i got a couple of those uh, gloves then we have the thing here for uh, put them together with a carabiner or with uh, with a cord for storage if you're not gonna gonna use the velcro part and simply swap it like I did uh, do with the uh, with the second one to keep them together as there are two that is a bit of part that you can lose one or misplace one so I always velcro them together as long as the velcro gonna gonna work that is good uh, what we had a bit is fraying uh, typical I need to flame that off uh, but it was not too bad on this part the actual part where you gonna grip the, the item we see here is uh, plastic or a, yeah I think it's a plastic material over a leather the gray seems to be like a, a leather and the, the black part more like a rubberish plastic part so it's it's pretty good and grippy and there where the finger bends you have still a bit leather as you put them on you can adjust the velcro part how it fits for your hands and the part here is elastic so that fits really well too the size of course needs to be working for your hand size uh, all in all I like them uh, the suggested retail was good $20 on that gloves which is really a good deal for the style for the quality of, of that gloves and uh, on our local Walmart they had them on sale for uh, less than uh, $10, $9 and something 
I think it was even $9. Uh, so that was for sure a good deal. And that's something that we have a lot of choices in USA to get good deals for a lower price. If you watch it, if you spend your money a bit with sense that really uh, gonna help you save a lot of money and get more items for the or get more items for the same money so all in all really well uh, white gloves and the tactical style uh, the regular style work gloves I have of course as well uh, for steel work if we're gonna weld something or or uh, just uh, cut some trees and bushes with the machete that that uh, works perfectly well with the regular uh, working uh, glove like a, a leather and fabric mix uh, you don't need a, a more expensive gloves for for uh, do that but if you uh, do a bit more special proposed work that for sure is an item to have to protect the, the hands to have more grip as you as you uh, use it uh, the, to hold uh, the items that that uh, is a bit more re reinforced so you can't get bumped or or cut too bad with those gloves compared to a regular regular uh, simple cheap Chinese uh, work glove the problem is with the hands uh, if hands get damaged that is a relative uh, complex fix for a uh, surgery and all that and uh, I had that in the past and uh, that is really important to protect the, the hands as best as you can uh, whatever you're gonna gonna do better better grab a glove so it's it's more protect and uh, and be uh, safe than sorry especially if you can get the, the items relatively easy uh, back then in Switzerland as I was stuck there uh, I could never afford such high quality gloves over there that was impossible either they were not around or the price was like 30 40 50 bucks and uh, that we could never afford back then so for for nine dollars a pair uh, an item like this in USA it's absolute paradise yeah, so protect your hands, uh, that is a important matter. If your hands are damaged, you, you're gonna have trouble. You, you need uh, stitches or, or uh, it bleeds. If you put a bandage around it, that's usually not gonna, gonna hold up too well. Even if you use duct tape, it's, it's just easier to use a, a good pair of gloves and get more protection out. Uh, instead of of a uh, suffer, so that much about the uh, sock tactical gloves.